The sixth topic is uh, easy and a simple one, also a short one. It is to understand the link between the slope of a tangent line and a non-tangent line to a graph geometrically. Let's look at the problems. Uh, see over here, they have given an equation and they have asked us to use graphical and numerical evidence to explain why tangent line doesn't exist at this particular point A. Before this, we need to know, recall what exactly does this mean. This is about whether it's differentiable, whether the graph is differentiable, whether the lines are continuous. Now, though lines are continuous, say for example, this one you can see over here, this is a um, absolute value function. It, uh, the graph of it, the standard graph will be something like this, right? Sharp corner. Everything will be in the positive side. Now, this is continuous because, I mean, you can consider this to be continuous, but continuity, though it can be continuous like this, it is not differentiable. Why? Because there is a corner. For differentiability, it must be smooth curves. It's very important. It can't be something like this. No, it can't be a straight line and a curve. This is not possible. It must be smooth. Now, here we can see... If we graph this minus one in the sense, uh, basic understanding of graphs over here, x, x minus one equals zero, x equals one. So at one, there is a sharp corner, isn't it? So generally, they ask you this point and at that point, there will be something. So for example, this point is differentiable everywhere else, but not at this particular point where x equals 1. So over here they have told a is 1. It's not differentiable over here. Why? Because it is basically having a corner. That's the reason. There is no tangent line. Tangent line can't be drawn at that particular point. So that's the thing. Yeah. Basically you just have to select it's not possible at this point. Why? Because of a corner. It doesn't exist. Now what about over here? Here, see they have told at x equals 1 and the denominator look at the denominator when you when you make this equal to 0 solve for it it's x equals 1 that means at x equals 1 there is a word oh, well, that's uh, not a vertical asymptote it should be a straight one there's a vertical asymptote you can see in the graph this is a rational function to uh, numerator denominator there are functions but the thing is at this point no matter what there'll be a vertical asymptote so it's not defined over there it's not defined at x equals one tangent line cannot be drawn now what about this this is a piecewise equation we need to draw that here there is a less than zero so zero is a very important point here now x plus one that means it's sharp this one over here it is a, uh, x squared minus 1 that means it's a quadratic equation over here so quadratic is something like this but since it's minus 1 it moves to the other side and then it should be drawn something like this it's there will be a jump discontinuity I believe see there's a jump uh, okay I just realized one thing it should go down not minus 1 sorry my bad it is down over here minus one so like this so anyways even if we had drawn over here there would have been a jump discontinuity at the upper point but now look over here is it this is not at all continuous okay why because there's a jump the previous problems were continuous continuous is drawing a graph without moving your pen say for example without lifting up your pen in the sense there should not be a hole there should not be a like this tangent line oh sorry uh, it should not be asymptote or it should not stop at one point and continue somewhere else these are the things for continuity the previous ones were continuous but not differentiable because of corner or asymptotes now here this is not continuous at all so yeah one second even this is not continuous sorry the first one was continuous but it was not differentiable because of the uh, corner this is because of the vertical asymptote here because of jump okay it's uh, uh there's a jump discontinuity you can't draw a tangent line at this point you can draw somewhere other points but at x equals zero it's not possible now here also same thing you need to draw the graphs and then get it now over here you can see 
it's a sharp it's called a, uh, I can't cusp I guess this point where it is sharp and then moves on in one of the lesson explanation in the derivatives all these different cases where differentiables are not possible are mentioned so this is one of the condition and at a equals zero that is over here meaning the x-axis at zero there is a cusp and you can't this is also not differentiable so basically it's not smooth you know smooth means it should be very smooth for a tangent line so you can have exactly one point touching the tangent line but over here you cannot draw a tangent line and uh, now this one the, this is see a smooth curve it is continuous and it is differentiable everywhere we can differentiate sin x i'm sure you know this by now you have used the differentiation now where do they want is at pi now what happens is when you draw the tangent line you must just be careful it will be something like this you know See, it's very hard. Okay, that's wrong. But anyways, it'll be, uh, it's a bit hard to draw in the sense, say, for example, let me just try this. Okay, like the, no, it should be very close. Okay, uh, anyways, uh, it should be very, very, very close like this. Okay, this, this is also not true, but I'll just show you what's the exact answer. See, that's the answer. Okay, it should be so close that it, touches only one point but it's very very close to this the touching point is exactly at pi pi is 3.14 at this particular point okay this is how we draw a tangent line um, now what about over here the same thing somewhere over here the line will be like that say this is the line for tan inverse see tan inverse graph it keeps on going um, and now over here you cannot draw a tangent line at x equals zero it's not possible other places yes but not at this point because it's a corner so it does not exist we have seen that before as well what about this this is very simple because the tangent line just falls over this in the sense you just draw a line over it you know it'll be just a line like this over it i mean god my drawing skills it's just it'll just be over it you know it overlaps it that's the thing uh, you can see over here I mean you can't see the line because it's overlapping right so that's the thing tangent line means now because this is a linear if it was a curve if, if it was like say a quadratic then you will have a particular point sorry this is not this is a secant line it touches two points tangent line only can touch at one point only and then it doesn't touch anywhere but you can't you know if you zoom in say now for example you draw a tangent in Desmos or other graphing calculator and then zoom in you can see there is always distance between them so that's how we solve it and that's the end of this uh, particular question if you have any doubts please do post them in the comments and i will see you in the next video